Hello everybody. So the other day I was on Amazon and they actually were selling for $24, can you believe it, a mechanical keyboard as a prime lightning deal. And I decided, well, I'm going to buy it because $24 for a mechanical keyboard is a damn good deal. I mean, $24 is the price of, say, a rubber keyboard. And here's a mechanical keyboard for the price of a rubber dome keyboard. And I'm thinking, how good or bad could this possibly be? So today, I'm going to be taking a look at the Velocifier TKL-01. Now, this keyboard is normally 30 bucks, which is already cheap as it is. And it's a mechanical keyboard for $30. And the first thing I might as well mention is that this comes in a bland cardboard box, just plain cardboard box. And all you see on it are what kind of keyboard it is. So if we flip the keyboard over, you'll see there's nothing on it. It's just a plain cardboard box. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up this keyboard's box and do a review of it. Quick review. So let's uh, flip this back over. And uh, let's open it up. So let's see what we get. So for just the low price of uh, thirty dollars, this is what you normally get. You first get a quick start guide, and. And stick into the bottom of the box. Quick start guide. They wasted money on this paper that says that it works with Windows, Linux, Android, iOS, is USB 2.0 capable, has some FN combo functions, and a backlight, a warranty, and it says for setup. This is funny. It literally says to turn on your computer and plug the keyboard in. Of course, with some computers, you'll want to have the keyboard plugged in when you turn it on though, so... Heh. And you also get a key cap for it, so you can pull out the key caps for cleaning or if you want to switch key caps. Doesn't seem like a very high quality one, but you know... $30. Alright, let's pull a key that nobody uses, the scroll lock key. And as you can see, it's a Cherry MX Brown clone switch. Now, I tried looking at the switches, and they seem to be Zorro, Zorzo, something like that, but it's not showing up well on video, so I'm actually going to see how the keyboard performs in the real world. Alrighty, gamers, today I'm going to hook up this vintage HP Visualize C3000 workstation to this MLG Corsair M65 gaming mouse, this $30 keyboard, and a CRT monitor. So without further ado, gamers, let's turn this on. First time I've used this thing in a while. Forgot how noisy this was. Look at this, old school Hewlett Packard connected to a CRT, text mode 12 by 1024 and look, this keyboard's working with it. Look at this, 400 megahertz. Let's see if there's any warnings, okay, it's good.
So look at this. Like this vintage old school computer. Okay. Gonna install an OS on this thing. And I'm gonna then um see how well this sick keyboard works with this old school gaming computer. Well it's not gaming, but this old school computer. So yeah, gamer. Now one thing about 10 keyless keyboards is you need to change your typing habits as there is no numpad. So what you have to do is you have to, when you're entering stuff in, you have to use like these keys instead of a numpad. But as you can see here, the keyboard feels great and it sounds great. which is nice. So now that I'm all done installing this OS, I'd have to say this keyboard's great. I mean, when I was typing stuff in, it felt really great to use. So, I'm going to put this down here and I'm going to show you how this keyboard types. So, I'm going to go um So there you have it. This keyboard, great to type on. And for $30, and especially the uh, $24 price I got this for, you really can't go wrong with this Velocifier keyboard. That's all that needs to be said, people. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.